All right, let's talk about my wish list in 2022. You're watching CX Sense. My name is Jeno. Thank you guys for tuning in. Today I want to talk to you guys about my top five of my wish list this year. These are not in order. They're just like five fragrances that I want, that I want to get in my collection for 2022. So this is kind of a cheapy. I'm talking about a Zaro Chrome Extreme. This one is supposed to be like Aqua di Gio Profondo, but with better performance. I haven't tried that fragrance. I tried Aqua di Gio Profondo and Although I quite like the scent, it just doesn't perform on me. And I mean like no, none, none of that hour stuff. It just literally is gone by like 40 minutes on my skin. And I tried it so many times. I tested it so many times. I, I ran through like two or three decants. I don't know. I don't know what I thought, but it's just sad because I liked it and it just didn't perform on me. And I hope that I get somewhat of a performance with um, a Chrome Extreme. That's my first fragrance that I want to get. The second fragrance I want to get is a niche fragrance. It's called Karagos. Well, it's a Turkish uh, word and in Turkish it, it's pronounced Karagos, which means like black eye. Not in like a black eye when you get punched, like your eye color is black. Well, Karagos from Nishane is a fragrance that is very fruity but like not fresh fruity it's deep fruity it's it, it has that let me rephrase that it's fruity it's got some woodiness to it but the fruitiness comes from the grape and it's just a unique scent it smells so good i have a decant here and and i've smelled it and i need to get it it's just a beautiful fragrance and a fragrance that I think is so unique that I need to own it. The quality is out of this world with Nishan in general. They are an amazing house, an amazing house when it comes to quality. I never smelled a fragrance from them with bad quality. The next fragrance I wanna get is a designer fragrance, a fragrance that I've been told is just like the one with better performance. <laughs> it's the one Royal Knight. This fragrance loses the tobacco side, I think, but it still maintains that DNA with some fruit elements, like sweet fruits, like oriental fruits uh, in it. It's supposed to be a good performer, and although I never smelled that fragrance, it, that I think is going to be a blind buy, which I do not recommend you guys doing it. Sample first, that's the best way to do it. I think everyone needs some sort of the one in their collection any flankers or the EDP, whatever. I think that's a, a, a kind of a must have. Yeah, that that fragrance I'm going in completely blind, just like the Chrome Extreme. The next fragrance that I wanna get, well, I, I, I said this is a top five, but let's make a quick honorable mention. I may wanna get Tom Ford Noir Extreme. I'm not sure about it. I, I smelled it before and I quite like it, but I'm still not sure if I wanna really get it, if you know what I mean. So yeah, that's just a quick honorable mention. But the next fragrance I want to talk about is Queer. Queer? Queer by Molinar. I have a decant of it. It's still, I have a 5ml decant, which I used just a tiny bit and it will last me a while. But that scent is amazing. It's a leathery scent. Queer means, means leather in French. It's, it's a leathery scent. It's, it has a lot of incense, the frankincense. And it just smells so good. Like a fragrance, when you smell that, you f you wouldn't think of a 60 buck fragrance. You would think of it, of this as like a fragrance that costs maybe a few hundred dollars. It's more of a winter fragrance and maybe fall, but definitely in those deep, deep cold days, dark days, it, that's a fragrance, that's the time where this fragrance will shine definitely. Performance on it is quite okay. I think it's like a seven to eight hour fragrance with moderate projection. You don't really want those type of fragrances to have a heavy projection because it, 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 there's no need for it. Like a instantly leathery fragrance don't need to be like a heavy projector. It's better when you have a little scent bubble around you and people that you walk past smell you or they are like close within like a feet or two. I have other fragrances that are like these beast, beast performers, like the attention grabbers, projection monsters, something like that. And this fragrance 
definitely don't need to be doesn't need to be that type of fragrance let's get to the last fragrance though the last fragrance i know as i said they are not in order but i think this one is like the number one that i really really want to get next year it's dior en parfum this fragrance is one of the best designer fragrances that i've ever smelled like it's so good it tones down the lipsticky iris it puts puts some more leather in it some more powderiness it's so good it's so damn good it's one hell of a fragrance and a fragrance that i need to get i think it goes for a lot around 100 bucks which is a lot of money to be honest especially for a student like me but it's a fragrance that is 100% worth that price tag. It's hard to wear that fragrance with sweatpants. Knowing me, I probably will, but this fragrance suits perfect to a suit, like a tuxedo or like a buttoned up shirt or something like that. That fragrance is just amazing. Sophisticating, mysterious, amazing. Awesomely amazing. Is that even a thing? I made it a thing now. This has been my wish list for 2022. I will check this video out in a year's time with you guys. And I hope by then we have hit 1K subscribers on this channel. I hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments, what is the one fragrance that you really, really want to get next year? There are a lot of fragrances that are coming out that I want to try, but what is the one that you really want to get? As I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment down below, check out my Instagram on this handle or the link down in the description. I've been Jano, you've been fantastic as always. See you in the next video. Goodbye.